On September 12th, Arcade Island 2 was released. Soon enough, the community exploded. There were hundreds of players sitting down and playing the game. There are many different things that made Arcade Island the game it is. Whether it is the players, the machines, or the other things it can do. Certain things in this game are well received and some are not. The Arcade Island board decided it was best to recognize different aspects of this game and award them as such. Welcome to the Arcade Island Awards 2020 results. sit down and talk about how the awards worked. The board team sat down and discussed different awards for three categories. Machines, players, and a miscellaneous. We gave three to five nominations for each as a team. After these nominations were made, we sent out the form to players to vote on what they thought was the best award for each. Let's sit down and take a look at each award and see what is the winner. Arcade Island would not exist without its arcade machines. Most of the time people spend is inside the Midway, playing the vast variety of different games inside the arcade. Some machines are good, and some aren't, while some are popular, and some rarely receive any attention. Let's take a look and see the different awards. The awards in the Machine category are Most Creative Machine, Time and Machine of the Year, Sleeper Hit of 2020, Best Legacy Machine, Worst Machine of the Year, and finally, Machine of the Year. One aspect of developing a machine that is really important at times is creativity. Sometimes machines can be seen as very clever or unique. Machines like these get us spending chips, and we asked the player base on what they thought was the most creative. The nominees of the most creative machine are Click Blocks, Dance Cube, Drag Race, Who Wants to Win Tickets, and Bloxopoly. The winner of the most creative machine with 30% of the votes is Click Blocks. Click Blocks is a unique rhythm game where you need to click the circles at a perfect time. The closer you are to timing them perfectly, the more points you gather. This machine has 7 songs for everyone to play and 2 secret songs. While this is a pretty basic rhythm game on the surface, the fact that this was made into an arcade island cabinet had people believing that this was the most creative machine on the platform. Song in a second is gonna go sicko mode. Here it is. A very common type of machine is where you have to time a light or something into a perfect position for a specified outcome. These machines are very common in real life, and there's quite a few inside of Arcade Island. These machines can be very difficult due to their small windows, and some are received better than others. The nominees are... Super Spin Storm Stopper Balloon Break Extreme Stack 3D and mainframe. Wait, hold on a second. What type of sorcery is this? Stack 3D and Balloon Break Extreme are tied? With each receiving 25% of the vote? Well, let's ask Blake to see what he thinks should be the winner. The time machine of the year is... Balloon Break Extreme. Balloon Break Extreme is a simple game where you stop a light and depending on where it lands, the balloon in the middle fills up with air. When it pops, you win the jackpot. There's four stations and commonly towards the end, there's a war between players to just get that jackpot. We will see what intense battles this machine will bring in 2021.
Certain machines are never talked about, but are actually popular. These are commonly known as sleeper hits. We asked you guys what you thought was actually a really popular machine that no one really talked about. The nominees are Mainframe, Storm Stopper, Balloon Break Extreme, Ski Ball, and Drag Race. With 45% of the vote, the winner is Ski Ball. A childhood classic at every arcade. It's fairly simple. You just throw a ball, and depending on where it lands, is how many points you get. Secretly, while no one might talk about this machine, this machine is actually pretty popular to see people playing at Arcade Island. Only a very few people have been able to remember when Arcade Island 1 was a thing. Certain machines that are in Arcade Island 2 come from the first version. While very few still stand today, it's usually easy to pick these machines out as they don't look nearly as updated as the newer machines of today. However, these machines still bring joy to some. Let's see which one is the best. The nominees are... Super Drop, Color Match, Space Bots, Ticket Ninja, and finally, Speed Machine A. With exactly 50% of the vote, the winner is... Super Drop. This is one of the first games that you see when you enter. A simple game where you drop the ball and depending on what hole it drops into is the number of tickets you receive. This machine is commonly known for its Mega Jackpot due to its infamous reputation of how difficult it is to hit. Unfortunately, sometimes machines are known for the wrong reasons. Some machines are known to not be fun and terrible to play. Guests commonly complain about these machines, and any machine that has a considerable number of votes would likely to be seen as a good riddance. The nominees are Haunted Wheels, Black Hole, Rose Star, Long Hall, and lastly, Melt Down. The machine that has been given the bad honor of being the worst in the arcade with 42.5% of the vote is... Black Hole. While I do feel like this is my fault, I can understand why this is not a fan favorite. This machine is you inserting your credit and just standing there and do nothing as you watch a light rotate around. You need the machine to land on an up to go on the next level. If you hit the up on the third level, you win the jackpot. This machine is 100% luck based, takes forever to go through a turn, and commonly baits you. It's no secret with a vote margin as high as this, that this is the worst machine in the arcade. <laughs> yes! Let's take a turn for the better and talk about the fan favorite machine. There is usually quite a few machines that come to mind as fan favorites. Any machine that has been nominated is definitely one to spend your ships on. But what is truly THE fan favorite? The nominees are... Arcade Island Giant Claw Click Blocks Who Wants to Win Tickets Expert Edition Big Fish Wheel And lastly the Arcade Island Coin Pusher. The Machine of the Year, with 40% of the votes, is... Who Wants to Win Tickets Expert Edition? While being a trivia game that gets most to suffer, this machine is definitely in its own realm. The first five questions are easier, simple questions that if you get right, 
give each five tickets guaranteed. Once you make it to the actual ticket tree, though, if you fail one question, you lose. While you do have your own lifelines, this machine is still very difficult. Only 280 have made it to the final question. The real question is, how many of them got jibated? Let's talk about you, the player. Some players are infamous for who they are and what they do. Naturally, some players are going to be famous for their skills and what they do. Let's acknowledge our player base with their respective awards. To account for bias, any player who was nominated and was doing the awards ballot had to tick the I am a nominee box, and failure to do so meant that their ballot was permanently deleted with no warning. Our two awards for our player base are Grinder of the Year as well as Player of the Year. Getting a ton of tickets quickly is something that our player race has been struggling with since day one. There's many different methods, some faster than others, but needless to say, some are way better at racking up tons of tickets than others. Let's see who is the most impressive at getting their tickets being counted. The nominees are That Slick Nerd, Kid Gaming Fun TV, Pete the Cat 1, Arcade Gamer 2, Action Battle, and lastly, Hyped Friday. With an astounding 35% of the vote, the player is Pete the Cat 1. Well done. Pete is known mainly in Arcade Island 1 for his ticket grinding. He was one of the very few who had the pink diamond. Today he is not number one on the leaderboard, but still has his diamonds. The Arcade Island player base has spoken. Congratulations to you. Some players are well known for their skill, some are very good, and are able to obtain the hardest jackpots that only a very few get. Some are even getting every single one of the jackpots inside of the game. It takes a lot to be able to go through the frustration that some of the games put you through as a player. Some are noted for doing this better than most. Let's see what Arcade Island thinks. The nominees are... Kerzy. Can you beat me 179? Sunny DCF 777, Baby J 601, and finally Real TDE 526. The player of the year with 35% of the votes is Real TDE 526. <clears throat> Congratulations. Real TDE is a regular among the community who does a good job at snagging some of those very difficult jackpots. Congratulations on your reward! These are awards that we wanted to include, but weren't suited in any other category. It's important that we take note of everything inside of Arcade Island and what makes the game possible. The three awards are Attraction of the Year, Record of the Year, and Influencer of the Year. Arcade Island is not all just about machines but also the social experience outside. These are different things to do, and it's time to honor the attraction that is determined to be the best. The nominees are Go-Karts, Super Drop the Ride, as well as the Water Slide Complex. It was a close race, but with a four vote gap, the winner is Super Drop the Ride. This intense ride sends you up and down the drop tower. This thrilling experience exerts 
multiple G's of force. Needless to say, the Arcade Island player base loves it. In the high scores channel on the Discord are all the world records achieved by our player base. Some of them are more difficult than others, and some of them are also seen to be nearly impossible to beat and very impressive. Let's take a look at the world records that have been nominated. Spacebots Solo, 153,500 points, achieved by Uncode PvP. Speed Machine A, PC, 1,058 points, achieved by Vote Competitive Mode, also known as Tanker. Quick Blocks, Extra Exclusive, 300,437 points, achieved by Logan ISL, myself. Home Run, Most Runs, 19 Runs, achieved by I, Nick Sue X. And lastly, Ticket Ninja, Most Targets, 56 of 56 targets on the final round, achieved by Sunny DCF777. The record with 40% of the vote is... Wait a minute, what's this? It's Clickblocks Extra Exclusive done by myself! As of date, only me and Blake are the only people to have beaten the Extra Exclusive song, which requires a lot of skill to unlock. On top of this, you then need to beat the Extra Exclusive song with hitting every single note with 800 points or more. I consider this the hardest achievement to do inside the arcade community, and I guess the community agrees that this record is very impressive. Thank you very much for the votes. One way a game gets popularity is if someone popular plays it. It's a game developer's dream for some of the most popular YouTubers to play their game. Arcade Island is fortunate to have some very important and notable influencers step by and show the world the game. The nominees are It's Funny and the Crew, Fazmash, and Pita Bread. With 45% of the votes, the influencer the community loved the most is. FAZMASH! Congratulations! FAZMASH is a popular live streamer in the Roblox community who also hit 100,000 subscribers recently. Huge congratulations to him! He has had multiple visits to the game. He went from pretty much being unable to play, with him having a bunch of special toys and perks to make sure the content could keep rolling. Arcade Island loves you! Congratulations for all your hard work and 100,000 subscribers! Well, that's all we got. 40 people submitted the form on the Discord server and voted on the Arcade Island 2020 awards. Congratulations to all of the winners. Without our players, Arcade Island wouldn't be where it is today. And fortunately, the content keeps rolling. And speaking of new content, we have a new update soon releasing. The new update includes two new machines, new badges, and more. 2021 is going to be a big year for Arcade Island, there are so many things planned coming to the game. The new update is soon here, however, coming at the full hour. So, let's head into the arcade and celebrate a new year of new content. Thank you for coming to the Arcade Island 2020 Awards and have a great 2021.